In our community, there are many people who are passionate about what they do and inspire others with their dedication. Here outside the Salisbury Council is a wall of honour to recognise the living legends that give tirelessly and excel in their chosen field. I started off just going for the ride on the back of the truck. I was out with a group of mates who were already in the emergency fire service in those days to a fire at Parafield Gardens. And from there I seemed to enjoy that. Came back, signed up. And from that point on, I suppose I've been uh, giving things to the community that something that I can give back to it, I suppose. Guys, what I want is uh, one length of hose from the appliance. The brigade trains on a Monday night and basically we go through the equipment, we go through the way we tackle fires, uh, we update our skills and knowledge, the way we extricate somebody from a vehicle. As the technology changes, we've got to update our members as well. Great. So Ken, tell us what drives you. Well over the years I suppose it's the thank yous and that that you continue to get mm. from the community and I suppose that's support in itself and particularly when you look at these sorts of things that have come back from uh, schools and children in, in particular. Make yourself comfortable with a... Yeah. yeah. Put your right knee against your right leg. Okay. That's it. You get to know what's going on in your community and you feel when someone comes up and says thank you very much. It's, that appreciation just drives you a bit further. But you, you know, you can't say no. At the age of 18, Angelo Costanzo was awarded the SA Player of the Year Award and soon after was invited to join the Adelaide United Football Club. He's now a valued member of the team and is instantly recognisable by his trademark ponytail. I went to school in Salisbury, I went to Salisbury High School, so I did year 11 there and then pretty much became, uh, you know, concentrated on football full time. A lot of hard work, you know, we train full time, a professional team now, so we train nearly six, seven times a week, if not more. Look at this day today and training days like this is fantastic and nothing can beat this. Angelo is a committed soccer player, but also devotes time and support to charity work. My niece Kristen's got mild cerebral palsy, so I thought I wanted to get involved and do give some, something back to the charity and the community. We do hospital visits as well and you go there and you see the kids and you just feel how fortunate I am, especially with my kids. The team very much is a family, you know, you spend so much time with them. You see your teammates more than you do some of your family, you know, we see players every day and you become very close to them. You don't um, have much free time these days, especially as a professional sport, you know, you're training and I wouldn't change it for the world and I enjoy doing what I do. For more information about the living legends, you can contact the Salisbury Council. Later on in the series, we meet Sister Elder, another living legend who is an icon in the South Australian Italian community.